Welcome everyone, my name is Mr. Fur, otherwise known as Chris, and this is War Thunder. <laughs> a game you haven't really seen on my channel before. Um, I'm not going to make a habit of it, it's not something I'm going to be doing a lot of if I do any. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do much more after this anyway. Um, but yesterday I spoke about Warface, and then I went on to War Thunder at the end, but I don't think I really did it justice. Now for those of you, uh, for those of you who are here for um, Battle, uh, Battle for 4, uh, if you skip to about 2 minutes into the video, or just click the annotation at the top of the screen, um, that will take you to my Crisis free footage, uh, or whole game anyway, because this bit only lasts for about two minutes. And then I'll start playing Crisis free and I'll uh, speculate about my thoughts and opinions on stuff to do with Battlefield 4, like, because they've had two trailers so far. So if you want to skip to that, go ahead. So anyway, if you um, uh, watched my video yesterday, you would know that I spoke about uh, War Thunder at the end of it. Now, this is War Thunder, what you're watching now. Um, I decided to get a little bit of footage for it, so I could just sh show it off, I suppose, a little bit. Now, for those of you who haven't played War Thunder yet, I recommend you do. It's a pretty simplistic game. It's just like uh, planes going up against planes. It's classic planes. It only goes as far as uh, about early Vietnam, I think, uh, in terms of jets. Um, but other than that, you've pretty much got many propeller planes. It's got pretty good graphics. I mean, they're not amazing, but for a free-to-play game, they're really good. And they're not by any means crap. They're actually pretty uh, darn good. I mean the physics in the game are good, you can get holes in your wings and stuff like that and you take real damage which really affects the way you can control your plane which is really cool. Um, it's a very team based game, If you like, you need fighters to protect bombers, that's just the way it works and you have to have bombers to take out uh, the NPCs and the uh, destroyer ships and stuff like that and the uh, aircraft carriers and in some cases tanks. Um, and that's just pretty much how it plays out. It's a really fun game. It does take a little while to get into and it does require a bit of skill to play, but I do recommend you try it out for yourself and just see what you think of it. So I hope you enjoy that. So anyway, for those of you who clicked the annotation, welcome back. Um, and now I'm going to start talking about some Battlefield 4. Now what I'm talking about more specifically is just, there were two trailers released. One of them was a, uh, called C, Prepare for Battle, and then C, and then one was called Prepare for Battle, and then Land. Now I'm not sure if there's an Air one out yet um, at the time of this video. I'm pretty sure there's not, but there may be. I'm not even sure if they're going to release one. But um, let's just talk about C first. Now when I saw the C uh, teaser trailer, it was 20 seconds long. It wasn't much of a teaser. Well, it was a teaser. It wasn't much of a trailer, sorry. It essentially just showed a, a sort of a zoom out, and then you've got a propeller, and then the propeller turns on. That's it. That's the whole thing. <laughs> but what interests me about that is, in, I'm not sure if, I've, I mean, the only Battlefields I've actually played are Battlefield 3, excuse me, Bad Company 2, and um, Battlefield 1943. But in all of those games, I never actually saw ships. I saw little, like, dinghy boats and uh, little air, uh, like, sea craft like that, like they can go across swamps in Bad Company 2 and then you had the dinghies from ba uh, Battlefield 3. But there haven't actually been full on ships. Now I'm not implying that this users would be able to control ships because that would be a bit hectic. Maybe invent a game mode later on in which you can do so for fun but I don't think that will be a main feature. The way I think it will pan out and this is only my opinion by the way, I don't think this, this may not be uh, what actually happens but the fact that they've shown the propeller moving, and it, you can tell it's a big ship by the speed at which it moves, it's not like just a really slow and slowly speeding up like a big ship would. Which makes me think that maybe sea battles are going to become an actual, like, actual couple of maps. So you'll have an open sea, maybe off the coast or something like that. And you have like several ships, you probably have like an aircraft carrier, uh, several destroyer uh, ships, and then well, I think that'd pretty much be it. And then what would happen is you'll spawn on maybe the aircraft carrier, or you'll spawn on one of the ships, if you if you will. And the idea would be if uh, that you could probably just you could get jets on top of the ship, like the F-35s that they use in the navy. Um, you could also have uh, like the little dinghy boats and go board the enemy ships and stuff like that. And the battle will mainly take place uh, uh, take place on one of the carriers, I think, depending on how many there are. And I think the way it'll work is. You have one of you will attack and one of you defend just as normal, and you probably have to get onto the enemy aircraft carrier, like for rush, for example. And there'll be several bombs that you have to get, and you've got to get from your aircraft carrier to their aircraft carrier, or from your destroyer to their aircraft carrier, or something along those lines. And you have to go take out the um, the rush objectives, just like you would in um, uh, <laughs> pretty much all of the Battlefield games so far. And I think that'll be a pretty fun. Uh, thing to add to Battlefield, because uh, so far there haven't really been sea maps as far as I know. 
and that's quite an interesting element to add to a game because it really will become the battlefields because you're going to have air, sea and land all dominated with different uh, game modes and maps and I think that will be a really good way to go about it now I think something that will really be cool for if they do do um, if they do do if they do the sea battles the way I think they will like the way I'm saying I think they will anyway at this point I think a cool thing they could add is maybe uh, they I mean, in ba uh, Battlefield 3, they had the ability to arm the um, AA cannon, so you can take out the uh, jets and helicopters. Uh, even though most people used them to take out the them in infantry anyway. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping they'll maybe add uh, the ca like cannons on the destroyers so that uh, you as a user can use... Well, I've never used use <laughs> that much <laughs> in a sentence before. Yeah, anyway, you as a player could use the... Um, the cannons and try and affect the enemy ship, maybe take out the jets and stuff like that. And that'll be a really cool feature if they do do the sea bat. I just said do do again. <laughs> if they do the sea battles, no way, I think they will. Um, another thing they haven't actually done a trailer for yet, which is the air battles, which I imagine they're probably going to. They released the sea battles like two days ago, the uh, land battles yesterday. So I imagine today at some point, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, they'll probably add like an air battle trailer, which would probably be the same amount of time. But um, the way I think they, they should do the air battles this time, because last time, the, I mean, they've always had helicopters. That's been a main thing in Battlefield. And then last year they added, or well, Battlefield 3 anyway, they added um, jets. But the thing was, I was excited about jets for two reasons. Firstly, it's cool and badass. And secondly, I thought they might add, like some jets you got a, a single sort of cockpit where only you were in it. And then maybe... Um, a co-op cockpit because there was actually a trailer where you you was in the back of a jet and I know it's from the single player but you was in the back of a jet and you was you could see the pilot in front of you now I think if they do it this time they should actually have that so you've got the main jet no the pilot the main pilot sorry who um flies the jet and maybe controls the machine gun and the missiles but then you could have a co-pilot who could control like the bombs of the jet so you could actually bomb enemy t uh, ground targets and sea targets depending on what uh, map you're playing and that, I think that might add a good element. And if they don't do it that way, then I think the other way they could do it is give the fighters a bit more of a purpose than they had last time. Because really, last time, the jets were only there to take out other jets or the occasional helicopter here and there. But in terms of their usefulness, they weren't really that useful. So I think this time, if they're going to do it, they need to add, uh, like, bombers. So you've got, like, one or two bomber planes and then have the jets actually have a purpose which is protect the bombers obviously not everyone's going to protect the bombers but it does make more sense than just jets versus jets you've now got fighter jets versus bomber jets or fighters versus fighters while trying to protect the bombers and it'll be really cool because if the bombers actually do manage to break through the enemy forces then bombing the ground targets i mean you're going to get a ton of kills really play the objective and be really cool and i think i hope that's they either implement it in one or two of those ways I've just described, either the co-pilot thing where you got bombs or the fighters protecting the bombers. Maybe even both, because there are a lot of jets that actually do do both of those things, because you've got like the Thunderbolt 2 for example. That has the capability to take out other jets, but it also has the capabilities to take out ground targets, like with bombs and uh, missiles, uh, missiles, missiles and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I just made a reference to something. Um, and for land battles, now this is the thing, I'm not really sure what they can add to the land battles to make it that much more interesting. I mean, obviously, they have said that they're going to add more destruction to the game, so I assume that the buildings are going to be much more destroyable than... I mean, they were really destroyable, but there wasn't, like, that much variety in the buildings. There weren't that many buildings. And, um... If they had more destruction to this game, then it'll probably be a lot better. I mean, they could even add it so the craters you can make are a bit bigger, more detailed, possibly. Uh, the ground vehicles themselves... This is what I'm confused about because there's not really much they can add. I mean, it is set in 2020 as far as I know. So they could actually add some concept vehicles in there, like possibly. I'm not really 100% sure, but um, something else they could implement. Now, this is where the jets did work in Battlefield 3, and that was with the F-35 uh, fighter jet. Now, the reason this worked is because you could hover. Now, the fact that you can hover... I mean, they should change up the controls a little bit for the console. Uh, <laughs> it was terrible controls. You couldn't slow down very much without going into hover mode, which is a pain in the balls. But... Um, yeah, if they implement the jets just by themselves, uh, they should probably make most of them F-35s because you can actually use it to take out uh, ground vehicles and stuff 
just by hovering. You can hover by an objective and then just use the uh, main cannon or whatever where you've got rocket pods or whatever. And then you can, or maybe even guided missiles. But you can use that to take out the ground vehicles and the ground troops, which makes it actually useful in the battlefield. Whereas like the uh, super flankers and stuff like that, they weren't really that useful uh, in terms of taking out ground troops and stuff like that. So, And they didn't have much of a purpose, like I just said. So if they add most of that <laughs> into Battlefield 3, then I think it I mean Battlefield 4, when we're talking about Battlefield 3 has been done. If they add most of that into Battlefield 4, I think it'll be a lot better um, as a game. And I think it'll be a really popular game, and that's what I'm looking forward to anyway. So, as this video is coming to an end, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, then um, please post a like. Uh, <laughs> if you want to comment with any of your thoughts and opinions, anything I've spoken about, then please go ahead and subscribe for more. Have a nice day.